on the last part, Cell and Demon King Piccolo, who has trained in the hyperbolic time chamber and engaged in the fiercest fights of their lives. Cell, who has never had an eco, finally faces some challenge and this brings him a lot of joy. Unfortunately, Demon King Piccolo still falls short in taking down Cell. Cell reigns triumphant once again as he spares Demon King Piccolo once more. Following this devastating loss, Popo carries Demon King Piccolo back to the lookout. Meanwhile, Demon King Piccolo reconsiders his options. It looks like Cell would always be ahead of him in terms of power. If he wanted to defeat Cell once and for all, he would have to go down a different route, a different path, starting with investigating his origins. Demon King Piccolo bids farewell to Mr. Popo as he heads towards Planet Namek. What will happen from here on out? Will Demon King Piccolo make the journey to Planet Namek safely? Well, these are all questions you'll answer today on Dragon Ball Z. Following the 21st Tenkaichi Budokai, Goku and the gang gather together for a meal. Roshi expresses admiration for Goku's skill at such a young age. Meanwhile, Goku immediately busts Roshi's Jackie Chun disguise, stating that Roshi performed well in the finals as well. Chi Chi and Krillin immediately turn their heads, looking towards Roshi for an explanation. However, Roshi had already escaped himself from the table. The first thing Goku learned from Cell was to sense Ki and Goku had already mastered this technique a long time ago, so he immediately saw through Jackie Chun's disguise. The gang talked for a little while before dispersing, with Killen and Chi Chi returning to Kami House and Goku returning to Mount Pao Though Chi Chi didn't let Goku go before Goku promised to visit sometime soon. Following the 21st Tenkaichi Budokai is supposed to be the Red Ribbon Army Saga. However, Goku had already taken care of the Red Ribbon Army earlier thanks to Cell. And without the existence of the Dragon Balls, Upa doesn't lose her father as they don't come across mercenary Tao. Nor does Goku meet and lose to Tao. This basically leads to a whole chain of events not occurring, including Goku not training under Corrin or meeting Fortune Teller Baba. Afterwards, it's the 3 year gap in between the 21st and 22nd Tenkaichi Budokai. Goku visits Chi Chi and Krillin here and there, giving some of them some advice and tips, and even sparring them occasionally. This does give Chi Chi and Krillin greater motivation and drive to train. Meanwhile, Goku and even Grandpa Gohan continue training with Cell. Just like that, three years pass by as the gang reunite once again at Papaya Island for the next World Tournament. The past few years have been extremely boring for Cell. Without Demon King Piccolo on Earth, his rival has essentially made a disappearing act, causing Cell to become frustrated. Unfortunately, Goku was still nowhere close to his level just yet. Meanwhile, let's check up on Demon King Piccolo. Similar to Bulma, Gohan and Krillin in the Frieza saga, Demon King Piccolo had taken 34 days to reach planet Namek. As soon as Demon King Piccolo sets foot on the planet, he immediately spots his fellow race. They indeed looked very similar to him. The Namekians there welcomed him, though they were curious on who he was and how he got off their planet in the first place. On the other side of the planet, the Grand Elder sensed a familiar power. Impossible. That was the Grand Elder Guru's first thought. He was completely dumbfounded. There was simply no way. Neil looked puzzled at Guru's sudden shock. Guru communicates telepathically to the Namekian villagers over there, telling them to bring Demon King Piccolo here. Demon King Piccolo hears Guru's telepathic message as well. Not knowing what Guru wanted with him, Demon King Piccolo puts up his guard. It would be most prudent to play safe. Demon King Piccolo arrives at Guru's house, with Neil staring suspiciously at him before letting him inside. Seeing the Grand Elder, Demon King Piccolo bows respectfully. However, the Grand Elder greets Demon King Piccolo, calling him Katas's son. Demon King Piccolo looks up. A little confused. Katas, for some reason, was a name that sounded very familiar. 
However, Demon King Piccolo couldn't recall the exact reason why. This was when Guru explains Demon King Piccolo's true backstory. Born in age 242 to the Namekian Katas, Demon King Piccolo was sent off planet Namek to planet Earth for self-preservation, as planet Namek had undergone a natural catastrophic disaster. Now, Guru and Demon King Piccolo were the only survivors from that era. Demon King Piccolo had ended up on a distant planet where he grew up, while Guru had rebuilt planet Namek after that disaster. Demon King Piccolo absorbs all this information in, momentarily too shocked for words. However, he shakes his head. He wasn't here to learn more about himself. He stated to Guru his true objective here. He needed Guru's help. He would like to learn more about the Namekian race, and maybe in doing so, maybe in learning more about himself, would he finally triumph against the monster self. Guru motions Demon King Piccolo to walk forward as he places a hand on Demon King Piccolo's head. After looking through his memories, Guru agrees to assist Demon King Piccolo. Now, Demon King Piccolo begins his training in earnest. However, this is where we will leave off for now. As Demon King Piccolo seeks to improve himself, Goku and the gang progress onward into the 22nd Tenkaiji Budokai. How will this tournament go? How will the sales presence of Chick things up? Well, these are all questions we'll answer in the next part on Dragon Ball Z.